A huge thank you to Seek Education for sponsoring this video today so that I can present to you some really great virtual field trips that you can take with your kids right from your home. I went out and did a whole bunch of research and I found five of my favorites that I'm going to share with you in today's video. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and as you know, because you've probably been watching some of these videos, I am on my newly found homeschooling distance learning journey. And in that journey, I have wanted to do some really cool virtual field trips with my kids. And so I went out and researched and found some really good resources that I had to share with you guys. If you're new to the Purple Alphabet, I would love it if you were to hit the subscribe button and join us. We do educational activities for kids and ideas and inspirations to learn through play, plus a little bit of hauls and giveaways and shop with me's in there too. So make sure to say hi down below in the comments if you're new. I'd love to hear from you too. So let's get onto my list of those five virtual field trips. First off, we have zoos. So all the zoos seem to have webcams or all kinds of online experiences that you can try out. But I am gonna focus on my town, San Diego, because they have some amazing live webcams. I mean, these are so fun to watch. I was kind of addicted watching the koalas the other day, quite frankly. This is 100% free. All you need to do is log on to the link. I'm gonna put that down below in the description box so you can go straight to it. And you're gonna pull up a list of San Diego Zoo webcams, and these are live. And not only that, they've been adding some new ones quite frequently. In fact, when I went back a month ago, they didn't have as many cameras as they do now. So you go ahead and click and it looks like somebody's actually manning them and trying to find the best angle for you. Some of my favorites include the polar bears. I'm a big fan of the koalas. They even have panda footage, although the panda's not there anymore. They have panda footage from when the panda was there, so you can go back and watch the archive footage. These cameras are great. They're also close up and you really can see the animals interacting with each other if there's more than one in the cage and you can see the them playing like the apes swinging from their little jungle gyms that they have inside their cages. This by far is one of my favorite favorite, favorite places to visit on the web right now. So I do highly recommend you check it out. They even have a video library too that you can go in and even learn more. So if you're integrating it into a lesson plan, this would be perfect. Virtual field trip number two is with the Smithsonian. I've always wanted to take my kids to these museums and I kind of didn't even know that they existed online until recently. So for 100% free, you can go to their website once again, linked down below, and you can explore the museum as if you are walking through it. So this is a pretty amazing opportunity. I was really impressed with this. You can explore each floor, you can click on certain mark, and it'll take you through the entire museum. And not only that is that you can zoom in and see the exhibits closer. You can also read all of the descriptions that are there too, as if you were walking through the museum, which I found quite amazing. So if you wanted to learn about something in more, detail, you can go ahead and zoom in and read whatever they have written there. I highly recommend, hands down, to go to the second floor and to check out the skeleton exhibit. These were really cool, probably one of my favorite things about this website, and I think your kids will probably like that too. Another cool thing about this website is that you can look at current displays and past displays that they've had in the museum, so if there's something you heard about and want to go back and check out, you can also do that. I just really like the detail on this, and I like that you can actually feel like you're walking through the museum as if you're really there. They've done an amazing job on this one and I highly recommend it. This is the Smithsonian Natural History Museum. Check it out. My next virtual reality tour is Seek Education. This is a supplemental teaching resources. It's for parents, it's for homeschoolers, it's for teachers, and it's all about augmented reality, which is really cool. Now, usually augmented reality, you think you need a headset, you think you need special goggles, you think you need special equipment, not this one. This is for any device. Yes, you heard me, any device. And so it totally is a really great resource to use. And if you wanna integrate technology into your homeschool plans, or you want to to use it for a supplemental resource. This will be great because it gives you a really nice visual model to look at, especially if you're exploring something specific. Seek Education is free until the end of the school year. So to the end of June, you can try it out and see what you think. All you need to do is set up an account like I've done here. It was really fast and easy. And then you just log into your personal dashboard. And from this dashboard, you have six core subjects that you can choose from. Look at all these things that you can take a look at. There's anatomy, animals, art, biology, history, physical science. Plus there's a, a featured one that you can check out here at the top or you can scroll down and check out some other things. There's even a section right down here where they divide it out by age range. 
So you click on these to see menus of relevant AR models. You can see the solar system, there's human DNA strands, or even Mount Rushmore. I have to say this Mount Rushmore one was really, really cool because you can get up close. So once you see the model, you can zoom in, you can move it around with your mouse, you can get a really good look at what you're looking at. Let's explore just a little bit over here and see what we have. Check out this human skeleton head. How amazing is this? It's like right up close on you. Another cool feature of this is that you can click on this to see in your real virtual world. So if you click on this button down here, you can actually show the model in your own surroundings. So this is another cool way to actually put the model kind of in real life, like on a table or right in front of you on a desk. So as I said, you can sign up for free on this one up until June 30th. After that, it's gonna be available for $3.99 a month for individual, or if you want it for a classroom, it's $19.99. Do I go to space? Of course we all do, right? Or maybe all of your kids do. I know some of my kids would love to go to outer space. Access Mars is a really cool website that you definitely need to check out. It's showing visuals of actual images of Mars's surface recorded by NASA's Curiosity rover. How cool is that? So this places you directly on Mars. You get to learn by clicking on points of interest and you move from point to point. So you can be like you're jumping around on Mars on your own personal rover. You can also travel to different mission sites and click on things and learn more about Mars. This is a lot of fun to explore and check out. This one totally blew me away. It's Storytime Online and it's on YouTube. This was posted several years ago from what I can tell by SAG and AFTRA. I think I said that right, association. But they recently started posting again and what it is is celebrities or actors reading storybooks. They have a, quite a library on here so there's gonna be a lot for you to pick from. And I think they even have some books in Spanish. So if you're doing the bilingual thing, this might be a good resource for you. What's really cool about this is not only are they reading, they show the illustrations of the book and some of the illustrations are animated and they also add sound effects to make it extra interactive. And we're talking all sorts of different titles here. You can find The Kissing Hand, you can find Harry the Dog, and that one is even read by Betty White. Highly encourage you to check out this one. Lots of options here. The list goes on and on and on and on. So if you can't go to the library right now and you want a virtual field trip, this would be a good choice. Those are my five favorite virtual field trips. I wanna thank Seek Education for sponsoring this video. If you wanna try them out, the link is down below in the description box and you can go directly to them. Remember, it's free until the end of June. If you have an idea for a great virtual field trip, I would love to know about it. Leave it down below in the comments so I can go check it out and see what it's all about. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.